Monika Laskowska, TV Reklama, druga konferencja przed galą Fame MMA 9, ze mną Norman Park, hej. Hello. Siema. Cześć, mówisz już po polsku trochę? O, oh, nie, 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 a little bit. A little bit. Mm. Uh, I just heard about your fight with Cassius uh, on next gala. Um, are you happy? I don't know why you, because you were talking a lot in social media about this fight with Cassius. I don't know why you wanted so much fight with him. It's like, a, what is giving you in a professional way or just, um, is giving you nothing? Or is just money, fame? No, I think one time uh, Christian Vilchak, you know, we trained together yeah. in Poznan and they've got some beef together and someone brought my name into the equation and uh, Don Cassius says that yeah Norman Park is boxing is terrible I beat this UFC fighter no problem and then I go knock knock he goes who's there I says Norman Park's here oh shit yeah I'm gonna fight you okay. so you know, we talk about this on social media but uh, the bosses from Fame MMA says mm, this is interesting because it's like a new trend because you got YouTubers fighting against uh, former UFC fighters, social media influencers fighting against uh, real fighters, Jake Paul fighting against Ben Askren. It's like a new trend, and I think it works uh, good for both uh, uh, both fighters. Make money both ways. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Christian Wilczek, uh, this is your friend, or you just like. Uh, Follow. When I come to Poland my first time, he was uh, the first guy I met there. Uh -huh. And I know everyone takes me saying this guy's an idiot, blah blah blah, but this guy trains hard, you know, he trains. Yeah. And I like people who train and put the time in, not someone who trains one time per week and goes, oh, I'm a UFC fighter, I fight MMA. Uh -huh. But this guy trains with the professionals every day. No, obviously still working his way, it's uh, early, he's like amateur still yet, but they train, I like people who put the time yeah. on. Are you giving him advice uh, about the fight, uh, how to train? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we work sometimes, we talk together and stuff like this here. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, social media with these guys and Don Casio and there's a lot of smack talk, but I don't speak proper Polish, so I don't understand everything that's going on. But I'm here for me. From the start, I said I'm here for me and uh, to help publicize myself. And it gives me a good opportunity to make. Uh, w w when you're in anything, whatever you do, like you're in media, you want to give yourself the best opportunity to get more exposure. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Giving myself the best yeah. opportunity to get the best exposure and help so. raise my profile. But I'm not too worried about that. But I know when you raise your profile, people, uh, promoters like that. Mm -hmm. uh, your next fight, uh, professional fight, when will be? I think uh, KSW, I think maybe I'll fight in the summertime, maybe mm -hmm. July. I think July is a good time because I fight Don Casio in April, May, June, July. June or July for KSW, okay. no problem for me, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you know with him? With who? No, I don't know who, but there's lots of fights for me to fight. There's uh, obviously potential rematch with Boris Mankowski, but we just found out he's injured. Maybe. Uh, I like to move up weight because I've got problems making the weight. I've missed weight a few times and uh, it's sore. My kidneys get very sore from uh, weight cut, you know, dehydration on my kidneys. And I missed weight three times uh, fighting KSW six times, but I missed weight three times and I lost a lot of money, you know, and it's not good for my health. And I says, let me move up weight for something else. Let me move up to welterweight and, or fight catch weight. And then you see a you see a good fight from me. Well, um, I would like to ask you uh, about the fight, uh, main fight uh, in the MMA nine. Um, Popek and Popek. Yes. What do you think about this fight? I know Popek because I fight with him in KSW thirty nine in uh, National Stadium. Huge show. Yeah. And I see his story on Vice. And I know I called Popek out to fight, but I like him because I've seen his vice story and his life's real, you know, it's not fake. Everything that happened in his life is 100% legit real. And he lives a crazy lifestyle and I just... <laughs>
I think it's, uh, you know, when he shows that it's real, I, I like that, you know, it's not anything fake or anything like that. He's real man and uh, I respect that. But his opponent, Kizo, I know he's got a very good song. Yeah. I like it. I, I, uh, because I says the Christian Vilchak, I says this song. I like this song. And he goes, yeah, you know, you know who makes this song? This guy. Oh yes, perfect. <laughs> and so I don't know if this guy is fighting before, but Popic is favourite to win yeah, this fight. So I think, fighter. yeah, yeah, Popic, you know, maybe only has six fights in, uh, professional, but he's been fighting for a long time in yeah. England. I remember him in yeah. England on Cage Rage in England. He, uh, he's been fighting there, so he's got lots of experience. It's going to be a tough fight for his opponent. Mm -hmm. So I think Popek's uh, the favourite to win this fight. Yeah, I'm thinking that Popek uh, will win too, but we'll see. The sport it, is The like, sport is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> One punch from heavyweight can yeah. change anything. That's why we love sport for that. Yeah. that is, uh, we don't know what will happen. What it's will the happen. suspension. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. But you know, you could be huge underdog, but still win the fight. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the interview, and I wish you a lot of health. Uh, this is the number one. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and everything, all the best for you. Thank you very much. And uh, see you very soon in April. Uh, in, uh, I think it's uh, April 24th or 17th. I'm not too sure, maybe mm -hmm. these two dates, but we will see again when I get yeah. the gold bar. The gold bar. There it is, look, look, look. Yeah. You see that? It's wonderful. That's nice. We get the gold bar, uh, a bag of cash, and this belt. I don't like this belt he has. I throw this belt away and get a new belt. Yeah. So I cross, cross my fingers for you and uh, see you. Soon. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.